everybody. This video starts off a little weird because I started doing this project. It didn't work out the way I wanted it to, so I had to figure out how to actually do it. What we're making today is a Druzy inspired candle holder. You can look up some Druzies online. They're really pretty. I didn't actually get what I wanted, but it was pretty close. This is some German glass glitter. It's vintage. You don't need that. You just need a bunch of glitter. Just different sizes. I stayed all in the same kind of color. These are like flaky glitters from Martha Stewart. I have some iridescent hexagon glitter. I have the vintage German glass glitter. Some fine glitters. A couple of glitter glues. Something that I like. The majority of your mix is going to be that large hexagon glitter. And the little bowl off to the side is rock salt. This is a cosmetic glitter. They're all kind of brown and gold and champagne and silver. Those kind of tones. You don't have to worry about mixing up too much because you can always use what's left over to do another one. You just have to add a, a little more of your base glitters. The base glitters here are kind of the iridescent hexagon and the vintage glass glitter. And that is actual glass, so be careful, but don't, don't go looking for that. If you have it, that's great. If not, you can find lots of safe alternatives. I'm just going to mix this up. Alright, now we're getting into the actual video that worked. I have a glass container here from the Dollar Tree. It's just their... One of their candle holders. It's got the flat sides, which I like, and that's just some rock salt. This is Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. It's like Mod Podge, except it can create a raised surface, so it's dimensional, hence the name. But it's also really good to stick things on and to hold things down, which is why I'm using it. This is just my glitter mix. Lots of the transparent, different shapes, different shades. You really can't go wrong with this. Now I'm going to start off by taking the Dimensional Magic and just squirting some on there. I want a thin coat. If I left it like this, it would dry just like that because it keeps its shape. But I'm going to use my finger to spread it out. We have to work in layers for this, so there's a lot of drying time involved. I wouldn't recommend drying it with like a heat gun or a hair dryer or anything. I actually had to take mine, once it was all done, I took mine and put it in front of my toaster oven with the door open on the warm function just because it's so humid here. I didn't think it was ever going to dry. And I'm just sprinkling the rock salt on. There's my head. At first I was trying to concentrate it towards the bottom to make it like gradiate up, but I eventually just put it all over. Because you're still going to be able to see the flame through it when you have a candle inside. Now I'm taking my little mix and very delicately putting it on. At this point I'm still going ahead with the idea that this is going to like gradiate, but I give up on that pretty quick. And I know this project uses glitter, and everybody's very opinionated about glitter now. I, uh, I'm a, an organic vegan. My carbon footprint is minuscule. No, I'm not, but I do believe in crafting responsibly, and I'm not going to use glitter in a way that is going to waste it or make it go directly into a landfill. Like, putting it in a birthday card so it spills everywhere or not properly applying it. I feel fine about doing this with loose glitter because I'm putting it on and then I'm putting three more layers of adhesive over it and you can see at the very end when I go to hit it there's very little fallout. So you know craft responsibly. If you have the option of buying something biodegradable by all means do that. I am uh, not that privileged to have money to spend on biodegradable glitter. 
and I'm always cleaning off the bottom edge. And I'm hitting the container a lot to knock off anything that's not in glue. This Mod Podge Dimensional Magic is really cool. It acts like resin. So if you ever wanted to do like a really small project in resin but you don't feel like dealing with resin, you can get this and it dries. It takes a long time to dry, but it does dry clear and dimensional. Yeah, I know I told you not to get that German glass glitter, but it is really pretty. But Martha Stewart also sells a... I use it in this video. It's like a flaky kind of foily glitter, I guess. It's, it's like flakes. And you could easily substitute that. Nothing's going to have the shine of real glass, though, but it's also somewhat dangerous, and you can't readily find actual glass glitter anymore. I bought the vintage German glass glitter on eBay years ago, and I have been so stingy with it because I only have like half a mason jar and I refuse to part with it over something I'm not like 100% sure I'm going to love. Like I don't take risk with it. Again, I'm just going back, making sure that everything is stuck down on there and cleaning up the edges and knocking off anything that's definitely loose. There's still a lot of loose glitter on here, but we're getting most of it off. Now, this is after it is dried. I'm going back with some more dimensional magic. I'm basically using this to make sure all that rock salt is stuck down because it's heavy. They're big pieces, and they do give you the feeling of that druzy. You could also use quartz chips if you can find them. I, I didn't want to do that because they're very sharp too and there was already glass glitter on here. I don't want people to pick this up to light a candle and slice the hands off. But I'm just putting a drop over each little piece of rock salt and then putting some in the general area because we're going to go back and add some more glitter. And see that one, that piece just fell right off. And I want that to happen. I want the pieces that are not completely secure to fall off now so when I give this to somebody it doesn't fall off later. So this is all the glitter I scooped up from the first round, and now I'm going back and applying another layer. The rock salt's also in here, but I'm not really trying to get any of that. I'm kind of pushing it out of the way before I scoop up the glitter. And I'm tapping it and kind of patting it in with the spoon. And it does kind of end up gradiated just because I don't put any more glitter at the top. Tap it, clean it. This came out really pretty once it was all dry. Four days later. The humidity here is ridiculous. Now I'm letting that dry. Again, took a, about a day probably. I stepped away from it for a while too. But you can see how everything's on there. There's not a lot of stuff falling off right now, like, I think that fell off. And that's not much. I think that's good for something that's got that much glitter in it. But, I still want to make sure it's completely sealed in, so I'm taking the Mod Podge Super Gloss. Now, I'm not entirely convinced that the Mod Podge Super Gloss and the Dimensional Magic are two different products. I know that big bottle of Mod Podge is about $6, and the little bottle of Dimensional Magic is, like, $7. So, if you only have one, if you only want to get one, if you don't feel like going to a craft store and you just want to go to Walmart to get the stuff to do this, you probably could get away with using the Super Gloss. And right here, I'm not brushing it on, I'm patting it on because I really want it to stick down into that glitter. And I also want to pull up anything that's not stuck down. I'm really tempted to try this again and just use the Mod Podge Super Gloss because see, it's a lot thicker than regular Mod Podge and it's clear. I know the other one dries clear, but it's not, it doesn't go on clear. 
and I am very liberal with this just because again I don't I don't want somebody's house to be covered in glitter because I gave them a candle holder for Christmas. So you're just gonna pat that in, make sure everything's covered to the best of your ability, and we're just gonna let that dry again. And be patient. It's it's one of those things where you're gonna have to finish it and put it on the side for a while and check on it, you know, in October. Here are some finished pictures of it. There's a candle lit in the inside so you can see a little bit of that glow. I really like the way it came out and with so many layers on it you can't really feel the rock salt or the glass glitter. So thank you guys for watching. If you could please subscribe, like, comment, turn on notifications, follow me on Instagram, share with your friends, do that good stuff. It's fun. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.